People who hold themselves to a high standard, they're only gonna give you high standard advice. You know what I'm saying? YouTube, what it do? It's your boy, the one and only. All my players hit that like button as you enter the player map positions arena. All right, now that that's out the way, let's get into this program. Real bosses slash kings do what they want and they don't care about other people's opinion. Here's why. So, as a king, you know, someone who is in charge of a kingdom, you can't go to your knights and ask for advice. You can't go to the people and ask them how do they feel about this next move you're gonna do. Why? Because they all look up to you. Now, you might not have a kingdom as far as the sense that, you know, like Alexander the Great or like a Pharaoh or you know what I'm saying, or shit like that, but you do have a kingdom that you walk around in every day, AKA your temple, AKA your body. So, what am I talking about? What am I saying? As a king, as a boss, you can't allow other people's opinions affect your decisions. Why? Because at the end of the day, you have to live with the decisions you make. At the end of the day, you have to look yourself in the mirror. Not that person that, you know, felt some type of way about whatever you were doing or, you know what I'm saying, or had an opinion about the way you were dressing or had an opinion about how you handle the females that you deal with or, you know what I'm saying, had an opinion about the car you drive or had an opinion about the way you choose to live your life. Excuse me, why? Or had an opinion about the way you choose to live your life. You know what I'm saying? It goes hand in hand with the program that I dropped yesterday, Player Haters. But as a king, you know, you can't allow player haters to affect your decision because you are the king. You are the master of your faith and the captain of your soul. I like that quote a lot. I'm gonna say it again. You are the master of your faith and the captain of your soul. One more time for the people who act like they didn't hear me. You are the master of your faith and the captain of your soul. You can't allow, you know what I'm saying, people to influence the way you handle your life. Now, there are some people, you know what I'm saying, who will give you the best advice, the best you know, instructions, AKA their best and honest opinion. You will know who those people are by, you know what I'm saying? The way they conduct themselves. People, people who hold themselves to a high standard, they're only gonna give you high standard advice. You know what I'm saying? People who don't hold themselves to a high standard will give you shitty advice. They'll give you half-ass advice. They might give you advice that's coming from a broken heart. And you gotta be wary, is what I'm saying, of who you listen to and who you don't. Because a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they're still dealing with emotional trauma and hurts from the past that they haven't fully healed from. So when they give you advice, they give you advice from a hurt place. They give you advice from a dark place, you know? They can't see the bigger picture is what I'm saying. So this is why as a king, as a boss, you have to be weary. Weary in the sense of you have to be on point. On point in the sense where you have to 
take people's advice with a grain of salt, you know? But most importantly, excuse me, my, most importantly, you have to make your own decisions because you have to live with your own decisions.